Today we're going to look at the Canon 10 to 18 EFS lens on the full frame Canon EOS R6 to see if it's any good for vlogging. Let's go. What's up everybody? Phil with Tech Gear Fun here today. I was uh, looking around for vlogging solutions and kind of remembered that I had this Canon 10 to 18 EFS lens, which is designed for crop sensor cameras, but I've got it on the EOS R6, which is a full frame camera. I wanted to see how good this would be for vlogging. I know I've seen some videos where the full frame lenses, the you know, 15 to 35 lenses, don't look very good and look kind of warpy. And I figured maybe since this is going to go in crop mode, maybe this 10 to 18 would be a good solution for vlogging. So what I'll do is I'll do a couple different stabilization modes. Right now we have digital IS turned off. We have stabilization in the lens that's on. And what I'll do is go through a couple different stabilization settings. I've got an ND filter on here. We're at 1 50th of a second at 4.5, which is the maximum aperture for this lens. And 4K, 24 frames per second, ISO 100. And just get an idea, I'm walking on a trail, as you can see, that's just fairly bumpy. Kind of, I've done a few of these outdoor videos in this area. I just wanted to see how good it is. Look at, uh, look at the quality of the video. Look at the corners to see if there's any kind of crazy warping going on. And just overall, see if you think this might be a good solution for vlogging. Again, you're not using the full sensor in this particular case, but it could potentially be something very good. You're using just like a crop, but the video is still probably pretty high quality. So what I'll do is I'll turn dig digital stabilization on now and we'll see how that looks. I'm holding it on a Manfrotto Pixie tripod. The sound is coming from the Ceramonic Blink wireless system, which is my favorite by far. I use it on quite a few of these videos. So this is without digital image stabilization on, but lens stabilization and IBIS. We'll go ahead and turn on digital image stabilization and we'll see how that looks. Okay, as the sun comes out a little bit, I've got digital stabilization, digital image stabilization turned on. There are two modes on and enhanced. So this is with it on. Again, I'm holding it on the tripod. Also, in the next clip, I'll just hold it by the lens, which I found actually works a little better as long as you don't get your, your hand in the shot. So again, this is the EFS, which is a crop sensor lens, 10 to 18, fairly inexpensive lens, a couple hundred dollars, I believe, but has stabilization and goes wide. We're at 10 millimeters. I'm holding it at arm's length on the Canon EOS, or EOS R6. 4K video. So how does it look? Pay attention to the background, especially in the trees. See if there's any craziness in the in the shot. I did some testing with this. I noticed something a little strange. I won't say it. We'll see if you notice it at the end of the video. I'll uh, let you know what I've seen. I can't really see this too well, but when I look on the computer, I'll be able to see how this does. The video quality to me seems pretty good. Stabilization actually seems good. I didn't notice any warpiness. So again, this is just image stabilization on, not enhanced. We'll turn on enhanced, which will give us a crop. But this is what you can expect with this 10 to 18 lens, holding it on a tripod. And again, for the next clip, I'll hold it by the lens and we'll turn on enhanced image stabilization, digital image stabilization. Okay, this is enhanced. You can see the field of view is different. So I also failed to mention, I'll tell you now that this requires an adapter which came with my EOS RP when I bought it. So there is a RF, since it's an RF mount, to EFS adapter or EF adapter. And that's what I'm using for this. So if you don't have that adapter, you will have to buy an adapter like that. But this is handheld, holding it by the lens. All the same settings, but enhanced. And you can, again, you can see the crop. So at 10 millimeters with enhanced, see if it looks any better definitely is a tighter field of view. But again, it could be something that would be pretty good for your vlogging. Well, that's what I wanted to show you. I'll do one more pass here with the enhanced on. And let me know what you think. Let me know what mode you think worked best. Let me know if you think that this is a decent vlogging lens. Again, it's fairly inexpensive, it's fairly light. But uh, that's what I wanted to show you. Let's go ahead and wrap up this quick review, I guess if you want to call it, of the EFS 
10 to 18 millimeter lens on the Canon EOS R6. Nut hatch. Very impressive nut hatch. All right, so we're we're back to regular digital image stabilization, not enhanced. So you can see the field of view is a little wider. I hope you really enjoyed this fairly quick video. Just wanted to show you again if you have this 10 to 18 lens laying around, maybe you do. Uh, if you don't have the adapter, you can certainly buy the adapter, and I think that this might be a good vlogging solution. Like I said, I did some testing initially outside of this video. It seemed like it might be a good solution. So in the comments below, let me know what you think. Do you think this would be good? I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit. Sometimes that causes warpiness. But let me know again what mode you thought was best, if you think this is a good solution. If not, what's your favorite vlogging lens if you use this camera for vlogging? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll talk at you again in the next video.